this video, we are going to look at calculator trick or hack you can use to solve problems involving definite integration questions in seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you'll be able to solve problems involving definite integration with Casio FS Nanawan ES calculator or Casio 570 ES calculator, the, the black one and not the white one. So, let's get a calculator now and go into the details of this video very simple guys okay so the first thing you have to do which i always recommend is to clear your calculator the essence of clearing a calculator is to remove or wipe out whatever previous value you might have stored in the calculator so that it will, you will be at a safe side you will not end up having the wrong values as answers because having known the rest clear to clear you simply press shift button 9 then Put the instruction one to initialize or press three, then records and then press records again. Now, what the client does is to put your calculator in default mode. Okay, so having known that, let's go ahead and solve this particular problem. Or, like when you are solving indefinite integration, in which you have to simplify a question and then differentiate the option. In the case of a of definite integration, very, very straightforward. You don't need to store any number, you don't need to simplify the equation and differentiate the option all you have to do is to impute the value straight forward and solve for it and your answer will display but there is one thing you have to take note of which is to put your calculator in red eye not in degree as you can see when your calculator is in default mode it's always in degree so you have to change it from this degree to to a reduce mode to do that you simply press shift this menu button then go for angle unit option two then radian option two so that's it guys we are good to go so this question one let's solve this question one after it you solve question to ensure you watch this video to the very end so that you get the full information on how to do or uh, solving a problem with the calculator okay so to solve the question one all you have to do is to press this button if you look at this button closely you see the the definite integral sign and you just press once as you come out so you move up and put the the upper limit which is one they are come down lower limit is one zero then you move this key to this center and impute what well, we have cube root of x raised to power three minus x raised to power four okay so to bring out the cube roots very, very simple guys all you have to do is to the cube root is here this button this button so this is the button you press so you press shift first press shift then press this button to come out as you can see cube root of what x raised to power alpha x to bring out x you press alpha and x raised to power all you have there is theory and you can make use of this function that button then come down minus alpha x raised to power of 4 yeah so the ds is not part of the equation what the ds stands for here is function this is a few that are putting this question as the definite integral of these values what it simply says that a definite integral function of the values we have here it's as simple as that guys so having done this let's press the quotes and see what we have very simple guys press equal to okay so the calculator is solving the problem very simple guys so you wait for a few seconds to see your answer very simple guys okay the calculator is solving the problem well wow, this question is heavy this one the calculator is taking this level of seconds to solve it okay guys let's do the patient the answer will display this shows that the equation is saved okay, okay guys so finally we have 0 0.321 so what i'm going to do now is to simplify the options you see the one i give us 
0.321 very simple guys so option a is already 0 0.5 which will not work so let me give it to option b one one about two something that's 0 0.5 that's half let's check option b and check if if it will give us 0 0.321 okay guys so check option b to convert this to decimal all you simply have to do to press s press to quote here then press sd no, we have 0 0.321. Let's check option C. Okay, so you go here and necessary adjustment. Put 9 over. We have 28 over 28. Very, very simple, guys. Okay, let's convert it. 0 0.32 exactly. So, guys, option C is our answer. But let's check option D and see what it's going to give us but we have already known our answer our answer is what option c the same as that guys okay so we are good to go very equal to no so guys our answer is what option c now let's solve this question two that looks somehow very very simple guys let's solve it we are going to see the answer now now before i solve this particular problem for question two if you are new to our channel and you have not yet subscribed to our channel be sure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel for more of our videos this is Lagos class what we do here basically is that we help young scholars like you with tips and necessary and other necessary information that will help to simplify your academic problems so if such tips and necessary information interest you you will, you will love to be getting such information from us ensure you hit the subscribe button now very important to subscribe to our channel for instant notifications anytime we release new videos okay guys having done that let's go ahead and solve this particular problem so we press this button and to come out to put the upper limit we had upper limit to be one and lower limit to, to be zero as well so you move this key this cursor to here and in pure you have here we have x we have a press alpha x Raised to power five. That's what we have there, guys. Okay, you come down plus we have six x alpha x alpha x is power what four. Use this power function. It's a power four. Okay, you come down. We have oh yeah, we have plus five x alpha x. If I alpha x raised to power three okay you come down we have plus 4 x alpha x x power 2 okay plus 3 x okay guys alpha x all right then plus 1 that what we have there guys okay guys okay we are correct you show sure everything is in is in that as you can see that what we have there the question started with brackets and that is exactly what we have there very important guys okay so we close the bracket here and put this exponential to bring out the exponential I press shift this button no sorry you press shift this lane button to come out then the power of the exponential is x alpha x minus one right so nothing else so the ds is not part of the equation what it stands for there is function so i've been done imputing the right values let's press the quarter and see what we're going to have as the answer very, very simple guys five so guys the answer is what five as you guys saw a <laughs> very simple let's say caution b as we're going to have five exponential let's make it of exponential that does not have power you press alpha and this it will come out no <laughs> okay let's take this one that has power let's put the power uh two no let's change change it and put four <laughs> just playing with this Okay, guys, so answer is not five. It's as simple as that, guys. So, with this, 
you have come to the end of this class if you are new to our channel once make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that for more of our videos please like share comment on this video today me how you feel regarding what you have just learned this class if you seem to have any specific question to ask feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i will be sure to give you a response okay guys these are my tricks or the hack i use to solve definitely that problem it's very, very simple very, very simple guys okay so don't forget to Play like a letter once you are done. Shift but nine. Very very simple, guys, and important. So that guys, with this, let's call it a class. See you in my next video. Ensure you watch for that of in-depth integration. If you have not watched it, very, very important, and get the knowledge, and you will be good to go. Thanks for watching this video.